so this is uh, kinematics uh, for o level physics 5054 uh, i am cyrus isak and uh, welcome to my youtube channel uh, today what we are going to discuss is about uh, the speed velocity and acceleration but before that i'm going to tell you about the concept of distance and displacement and then i'll lead towards that so uh, we'll precisely discuss what is meant by speed and velocity recall and use average speed as the total distance travel over total time taken i'll discuss about what is meant by uniform acceleration and recall and use acceleration as the change in velocity over time taken and uh, i'll also discuss about non uniform acceleration and uh, that the deceleration is a negative acceleration so uh, moving towards the lecture physics o level 5054 kinematics right let me start with the concept of distance right distance well distance means that the length covered by an object the length covered by an object regardless of the direction right regardless of the direction when let's say a car is going from one point to another it is covering some distance right let's say the distance is 5 kilometers so this is just distance there is no direction involved but the difference between the uh, distance and displacement comes when we say that displacement is the distance moved in a specified direction displacement is the distance moved in a specified direction it is the distance moved in a specified direction what what do i mean by this is that let's say there's there's one person at point a and there's an there's another point point b right the person moves from point a to point b right he can take this distance he can take this distance but the displacement is only in a specified direction so displacement in this scenario displacement is going to be this as you see th this this specified direction this is the displacement the shortest distance between two points you see this is the this red one is the displacement all other paths are distances this one is the displacement so you're moving in a specified direction okay this is a specified direction from a to b distance moved in a specified direction the si unit for both of these quantities is meters so for distance and for the displacement the si unit that we use is meters as i unit used is meters meter we will we'll write with this small l and same is the case with this one so this 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 part this red one shows the displacement this is the displacement and as i unit is meter as you see here to differentiate both of them i'll give you a small example uh well let's say you have this point this is the starting point of the journey and the car goes from here and then it moves it takes a u turn and it comes here right let's say this distance this distance is this path this distance is let's say uh 10 meters right and let's say this distance from here to here it's 4 meter so the total distance traveled at the moment the total distance traveled here is total distance traveled is 40 meters but what about the displacement displacement is different in this scenario because you see the direction has been changed so 10 plus 4 is 14 meters this is the distance and the displacement is this specific path you can see here this is the displacement this thing you see this part is the displacement from the starting position 
this part so this displacement is it is 10 minus 4 because this is in the opposite direction so I'll just subtract this right so in fact it is 10 plus minus 4 right so this becomes 6 meters so the displacement is 6 meters the distance traveled is 14 meters so this is one great distinction between distance and displacement you see the distance is different and displacement is different although both have the same SI unit uh, and let me give you another example in which the object is moving like this and it is traveling here so this is the starting point O let's say that this is 7 meters and this distance is obviously 7 meters as well till here and further ahead it's 3 meters so if it is moving in the negative direction I'll take I'll take this direction as negative and I'll take this direction as positive I can also say that the object has gone 3 meters toward left if I'm talking about displacement right I can also say that displacement is minus 3 meters so the distance at this moment total distance here in this example in example B total distance is 14 plus 3 that is 17 meters and the displacement is either displacement here is either minus 3 meters or 3 meters towards left if you specify that that this is the left direction towards left right 3 meters towards left so I hope that this makes things pretty much clear right about distance and displacement moving ahead let's talk about the speed and velocity let's talk about speed speed pretty much familiar you're pretty much familiar with this word speed now speed is the rate of change of distance that is distance tra travel per unit time so speed is the rate of change of distance rate of change of distance what the, what this statement means is in fact that you're involving the rate of change that means that you're involving time this thing rate of change means that time is being involved here rate of change this thing that you have involved time here so speed is the rate of change of distance so I can say that speed is distance per unit time that is distance over time and you know that the distance is the SI unit for distance is meters and the SI unit for time is seconds so the speed is also meters per second if you look in this scenario and again this is this has no direction so it is a scalar quantity scalar quantities are those quantities which have only magnitude which is important so distance as I've told you ahead uh, previously that distance is also it does not involve any direction so distance is also a scalar so speed is a scalar quantity right speed is a scalar quantity scalar quantities are those quantities which do not have any direction right only magnitude is of importance scalar quantities are those quantities are those quantities which have only magnitude which, which have only magnitude of importance I'll make another video regarding the scalar quantities and vector quantities in quite detail but for now just to tell you that speed is a scalar quantity as distance is a scalar quantity right so uh, they do not involve any direction they do not involve any direction do not involve any direction 
So speed is a scalar quantity with an SI unit of meters per second. The SI unit for speed is meter per second. And obviously you can just divide by the distance, uh, divide the distance with time to get the speed, right? Speed is distance over time. Let's move towards the velocity. The velocity. Velocity is defined as the rate of change of displacement. That is displacement per unit time. So it is a vector quantity because it has a direction involved as well. So this velocity is the rate of is the rate of change of change of displacement that is if you have this the formula for this becomes velocity is displacement per unit time right so the displacement is again the displacement has an SI unit of meters and time has SI units of seconds. So SI units again are those of speed, same SI units. SI units are meter per second. We can write it like this as well, meter. Since this is in the denominator, it can come up with this negative power. So meter per second, right? So SI units are meter per second or ms minus one and uh, velocity is a vector quantity. That is it involves direction because displacement has direct direction involved velocity also has direction involved so velocity is a it's essentially a vector quantity velocity is a vector quantity so vector quantities are those quantities which have magnitude and direction involved they have direction as well and i'll i'll, I'll post a separate video regarding the vectors as well their scalars and vectors so velocity is a vector quantities and vector quantities are those quantities are those quantities which have both magnitude that is magnitude means the value they have a value like let's say five five meter per second so you have a value of five and if you specify that it is moving towards the right that means that it has a direction as well so five meter per seconds towards right or uh, Five meters per second towards north. So these are the uh, these these shows that they have direction. Vector quantities are those quantities which have both magnitude and direction. Magnitude and direction. <coughs> right. So an example of that is. Let me give you an example. Let's say a car is moving towards right, right? So you'll say that five meters per second is the speed. But if you add, if you add direction towards right, this becomes a vector. This becomes a vector. So this is a vector now. This is essentially a vector now. Five meters per second towards right. So this makes it a vector. So in, initially it was the speed. And when you add the direction as well, you'll get the uh, you'll, you'll say that it is a vector quantity. So this has become velocity. So five meters per second alone is speed. But if you say that five meters per second towards right or towards left or towards any direction with an angle, that will give you uh, the velocity. That is is an example of velocity. Is an example of velocity, right? Example of velocity. Five meters per second towards right is an example of velocity. So uh, this is pretty much simple. And uh, let's move towards the average speed. Right. If you have, if you know the distance, if you know the displacement, you can easily find the velocity and you can easily find the uh, speed as well. Distance will give you the speed, distance per unit time. 
and velocity is displacement period and time right moving ahead average speed this is something that you have heard quite often average speed so average speed is the total distance traveled over total time taken it is the total distance traveled over total time taken average speed is total distance traveled distance traveled total time taken i'll give you a very simple example let's say this is point a this is point b and uh, let's call this point c and let's call this point d so a person moves from point a to point b and then point b to point c and then he moves towards point d uh, the time taken to move from a to b let's say a to b is 5 meters right let's and the time taken to move from a to b is 1 seconds right then at b to c the distance is 10 meters and the time taken is let's say uh 2 seconds right at C, he took a rest of 10 seconds, right? And then he moved from C to D. C to D is, let's say, 25 meters. And the time it took was uh, 3 seconds, right? <coughs> so the total distance traveled here is, some people ignore this thing. Some people ignore this rest, right? The thing is that you do not have to ignore this. You have to add this in the total time. So even if the person is taking rest at point C, you have to involve that in the total time taken. So total average speed is average speed is the total distance traveled. Total distance traveled over total time taken. So you have the total distance as I can see here is that this is 5 plus 10 plus 25 and the total time is 1 plus 2 plus 10 and plus 3. So this is uh, 40 over 16, right? 40 over 16. So this is your average speed. You can convert it into the decimals, right? 40 over 16 meters per second, right? By using a calculator, you can just simplify it, right? And that will give you your answer. So 40 by 6, 60, right? <coughs> this is the average speed. You can even simplify it more, right? By the, by the use of fractions, right? So 40 over 16 is the average speed here, right? The thing here is that the most important thing here is that you have to involve the, the rest of 10 seconds even though he didn't travel any distance, but uh, you have to involve that.